what's up you all i am back with another video and as y'all do know i just made a video right before this one for y'all see me hot in here because i am in my crafting weather spot and it's hot i got my heat press on already and i just wanted to get on here and do a different video so that my other video wouldn't be long so i had spoke of me having these um i ordered something a while ago when i first started doing um when i first started doing crafting and making shirts and when i ordered it it was intent for me to make my job easier or what i was doing a little easier but i never did get to use them so i opened it on the other video it was a little package that i ordered i don't remember where i ordered it from maybe um i'm assuming i ordered it from um amazon back in the day but it came with a measuring tape which i love using these measuring tapes the uh for your clothes rather than like a ruler or something like that these are actually made for like your shirts and actually measuring different items so because it can bend and stretch so i love those um so it won't hurt to for me to take them out but i ordered these shirt guides so these shirt guides are meant to go under the neck of the shirt that you're doing so each one has a different thing like this one says infants toddler y'all know what an infant is that's like a baby a toddler is from 2t to like 5t then you have your youth which is you know what youth is like 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 sometimes older um depending on i'll go up all the way into like 16 size 16 for kids and then you also have your adults I kind of melted it, y'all. I had it sitting under my heat press. So, as y'all can see, this one is kind of bent. But the purpose of me doing this video separately is so that I can share with you all how it works on a 3X shirt. So, I have this 3X shirt here, which I only have a, I think this is like a 12 by 12 it's, I have a real small heat press, maybe an 18 by 18, something like that. But it's really small, 15 by 15, I think, heat press. So, um, with that being said, you can't fit this huge shirt under here. It's, let me show y'all. So, let me show y'all what I'm talking about. I don't want to say huge, but you can't fit a 3X shirt. You can't fit a 3X shirt completely under the heat press and actually be able to measure its size as you can see it's covering up my entire heat press um so i am going to use the guide to see if it actually can help me so i'm gonna just sit i hope y'all can see so i'm just gonna sit the shirt on my heat press like normal but i want to make sure that the brim of my shirt is still in within view for me so the neck the collar part of the shirt this one has already been creased but that's fine um i'm not really worrying about that even though the crease actually shows you the center as well but we're not gonna go off the crease we're gonna actually go off of this so, I can already tell you that the arrow did hit. And let me let y'all see. So, the arrow did hit exactly on the crease. See that crease? It's supposed to be in the center of the shirt. And I'm going to, I always use this kind of, the tag as my guide for the center. And so, that's directly in the center. And what i want to do is i want to put the name tag on i still normally use four fingers from under the collar or under the neck part so as you can see my four fingers is this shirt um, i'm gonna push y'all back a little bit sorry so my four fingers is like right there and then this is the name tag i'm going to go maybe three over I'm going to start it like three inches away from the middle of the chest because this is just like a little name tag. 
and then I'm gonna push it down and I can remove that once I push it down. So that's how you're supposed to use the guide. And then you can go ahead and slide your shirt under or wherever. If you're gonna use your hand press, you can just go ahead and press it. So there we go. And then I'm gonna show y'all how it works for the back, okay? So let's get this name pressed on and then we'll do the back. And while I'm working on the back, this is the design that I have for the back. I still like to fold my stuff. So as long as the um, paper is cut even, that's perfect for me. That helps me guide to fold it in the correct um, way. Okay. So... I'm gonna go ahead and it's hot so i like to rub it then i'm gonna pull it off and then i'm gonna press it once more just to make sure that it's down good which i know that it is but i just like my extra protection so nothing won't come off whenever the person is wearing it um so we're doing that and i'm gonna lift it up and yeah i don't have to have this uh teflon sheet down there but it's a habit okay so straighten the shirt up again there's no line this time so i'm just gonna use this and as i told y'all my tag is right here so if you go straight down from your tag to the neckline, which you can kind of see the crease. I don't know if y'all could see it, but you should be able to see like a little crease right here from the neck from when I did it. So we're going to use that crease. And we're going to take the folded part and come a little bit under it. and it don't have to be directly under it you do it the way you feel fit but i'm just kind of nitpicky sometimes and i feel like it helps me straighten it up by doing that so i'm trying to put it directly under there but there we go and then we're gonna press okay i'm gonna scooch y'all back and i can't really just show y'all on me but what i'm going to do is once i get it printed i mean once i get it pressed i'm gonna pull it off and then we're gonna measure the both sides to see if it's kind of even or not that way we know if it really worked or not okay i think that should be long enough pressing down and then too well so make sure you get both sides okay we're gonna put this back up and then we're gonna just use so now we're just gonna use the um I'll take it up and then I'm gonna repress it in to make sure that that side went completely down. Okay, so I'm just heating it up just to make sure that the shirt is completely down 
it's super hot still so i can go ahead and turn it off it won't affect anything because like i said it's super hot we got a minute before it actually cool down and when it come cool down we're gonna come back <laughs> 